The Secretary of Defense is calling for compromise tonight. Leon Panetta was in Hampton Roads this morning trying to build support for a congressional compromise on the federal government. Panetta is a vocal critic of sequestration, which will mandate deep budget cuts if Washington cannot get its finances in order. Ten of your side military reporter Art Khan explains. Although the Secretary of Defense has been tasked with downsizing the military, Hampton Roads business leaders rolled out the welcome mat. We know that he has, will continue to have some tough decisions ahead of him, but he should know this. We are his partners. But both Defense Secretary Leon Panetta and this region will need Republicans and Democrats to partner on a national budget compromise in order to prevent across the board cuts to defense spending mandated by sequestration. If we don't have elected leaders who are willing to come together to solve the problems facing this country, our national security is in jeopardy. The sequestration was supposed to be the incentive for the so-called Congressional Super Committee to reach a compromise on how to reduce the national debt. It was basically designed to force people to do what they're supposed to do. So they put a gun to their head and said, if we don't do what's right, we'll blow our heads off. And they didn't do what's right, and now the damn gun is cocked. Both parties have unclean hands. Senator Mark Warner is referring to the nation's $16 trillion budget deficit a deficit he says will continue to grow if partisan politics persist. Until we lance this boil and get our balance sheet right, we are not going to solve all the other problems our, our country is confronted with. House Republicans like 4th District Congressman Randy Forbes say talk of compromise from their Democratic counterparts in the Senate is nothing more than talk. Uh, the House of Representatives has passed a bill that would stop sequestration. It's the Senate, though, that's refused to pass anything, and the President said he'd veto any legislation that would try to stop it. I am not one who believes that you have to choose between fiscal security and national security. For now, though, those seem to be the only options on the table. In Norfolk, Art Khan, 10 on your side. Secretary Panetta pledged to keep Hampton Roads military community strong in the future, calling our region a strategic national asset. Virginia